Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull off our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As always, we are going to start off with our gold daily chart. As we can see, uh, we are still in this range. Notice that as we pushed up to the resistance and even uh, on today went up and tested our downtrend line, our downtrend line still held up strong and we fell right on down. So um, this is still our range. Our downtrend line is still valid. We can actually take it, maybe uh, raise it just a little bit here. Uh, but it's still valid and we're going to have to watch and see if we win, if and when we can break out of this range. We can see that although the market uh, consolidated here, you know, we had this consolidation, we got a little move up, and then we can see today we fell right back down into this consolidation. So we fell right back down into this range. And that again it plans out pans out on the daily chart. We moved sideways, sideways, moved up, and then fell right down. So uh, we're going to need some type of catalyst, good or bad for the economy, to move us out of this. So what does that mean for our currency pairs? Well, we've got the euro dollar. There we go. And what was once support is now acting as resistance. We've come right back. We need to get over this 1.33 in order to make a run back up here to the 20 moving average. Once we test the 20 moving average, you know, uh, the David Elliott followers know that we make new lows, so we'll have to see. On our one hour time frame, we're below our long term moving average. We are in a buy zone. But we see that the euro is in control, which is good for our, our move higher. If the euro is in control for this pair, that could mean a move higher. The probability is higher. But what is interesting about the euro being in control is take a look. The euro is going sideways and then trending down while the dollar is trending higher. But we may, it made a little dip here, uh, but I guess it's, it's not as uh, strong as this dip here. So we'll have to see if the, the dollar can make a turn. We can see ever so fractionally the sellers are in control, which may see the uh, dollar turn back up here. So we'll have to see what happens because, again, we're at a key price level of resistance um, on the daily chart. So that may turn us around here on the hourly also. For our pound dollar, we can see our support at 1.52 really holding up. Tested it, inside bar, made a move up, came back down, wick down to our, our support level, and now here we are sitting. So our support at 1.53 is certainly holding up here. Uh, we're in a neutral zone, just above a buy zone, but we're in a neutral zone, and there's our, our another resistance level that we're watching. Um, ever so slightly, the dollar is in control here, which would bring us back down, but they're both in negative territory. Here we can really see, although the pound is trending up, it moved down below its long-term moving average. The dollar trending higher, possibly finding support at its sorry, at its uh, long-term moving average. And here also, it looks like the sellers are about to take control as we get into an over-bought uh, situation. We, we got a trigger here, um, and that's, if you look at that, we got our trigger here, and as we come up, our probability came down. So 
little conflict. We got an overbought on our indicator, but we are in a neutral coming out of oversold. Finally, we'll go to the dollar franc. Here, our daily ascending wedge is planning out here uh, as we continue to move right on up. But let's uh, get back. This is on a weekly chart. As we come back to the daily, we can see our support of 0.89. Two, um, holding up, and our resistance of 0.93 holding up. So, you know, a really nice 20 moving average acting as support. Still a sitting wedge. The sitting wedge is really nice to see here again on the weekly chart. Really easy to see. So, we're in a sell zone, and ever so slightly, the dollar is taking control once again. You can see this dip off that the franc has made while the dollar continues to average higher. And now the buyers are trying to take control here after getting uh, a little signal here. Uh, the buyers are trying to move us up. So there's that conflict. We're in the sell zone, but we're also oversold. As we come to our watch list for today, we do have a low volatility watch list. This is our one hour time frame using Bollinger Bands. Here we're going to be watching the dollar franc. It did get a little pop out, and then uh, the bands are kind of contracting again. So we're going to watch this, watching the high and the bands, high and low, the upper and lower bands. For our inside of our watch list, we're going to be watching the dollar yen. So as we continue in our education spotlight, talk about trading plans. We want to talk about what every trader needs, and that basically is faith in the system. You see, once you've back tested, and you paper traded, you virtual traded your system. You can begin to develop a sense of reliability in that system. That's how we build our confidence. That's how we develop our trader's mindset. That's how we develop faith in the system. That's how we overcome our fears. The fact that we back tested it, we know that it works in past markets. The conditions haven't changed, so we know it's going to work in the current markets. And then we can, because we back tested it, we can make those adjustments if the market has changed. And because we, as we talked about in our last video, we keep a journal, we can make changes for the current climate. But we need that faith in the system to overcome our fears of losing. You know you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate? We still have our free five video course on high probability trading, all the components that you need hopefully these videos and there's a bonus will give you an insight to who we are as coaches and how we can help you develop that faith, develop that trader's mindset. Cash back for your forex trade. It doesn't change the spreads and trading conditions. Just re receive rebates for your trades. And finally, if you're looking for signals, we can give that for you also. Um, you can get the signals to have them automatically traded or get the signals and trade them for yourself. But in the end, it doesn't make a difference about the system, the indicator, or the room that you're in if you don't have faith to pull the trigger on a trade. And that's what back testing, that's what a journal, and that's what uh, paper trading will give you that confidence to have faith in your system. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.